is said to be one of the deadliest and most challenging forms of cancer to treat, but a local man is beating the odds. As Tiffany Tarpley tells us, groundbreaking research and superhero strength are giving this patient a fighting chance. Just looking at Andy and Amy Simon, you'd have no idea what they've gone through over the past five years. I had one moment of tears, um, and then I never looked back. I never said, why me? It's more like, why not me? You no, know, there's a reason. A reason why what at first Andy thought might have been another migraine. Normally, it's just I just shake them off and go to work and do my thing. And I said to my wife, Amy, I said, um, no, there's something different. We need to go to the hospital, the emergency room. Turned out to be a symptom of glioblastoma, an aggressive brain tumor. University Hospital's neurosurgeon, Dr. Andrew Sloan, says the median survival rate in the U.S. is just short of one year. I have a, a number of people who live a number of years, 5, 10, 15 even, but almost all of them have recurrence and have to be retreated. Uh, Andy has only had one surgery and one course of treatment, and he's been disease-free, uh, knock on wood, uh, since then. A five-year survivor, a huge celebration, and it's an anniversary that could be thanks to clinical trials at UH. Andy a real-life superhero, a superman, with super support from his family and his caregivers. His why, his reason for fighting, Andy says includes life milestones, graduations, weddings, grandchildren. He and his wife, Amy, are ready to share so much more. There's never been a cure for glioblastoma, and there's still no cure for glioblastoma. So we're hoping that this trial can be that cure. Unfortunately, a few close friends diagnosed with the same uh, type of cancer and were not here. They didn't make it. So I'm fighting, continuing to fight the battles that they're not here to fight anymore. And so Andy participated in phase one of Dr. Sloan's clinical trial. Phase two, which will help determine effectiveness of this gene therapy, which helps patients withstand higher doses of chemo. Well, that's going to begin in a few months, Sarah. And it's thanks to a $2.3 million grant from the National Cancer Institute. Wow, that research is so important. And Andy seems like he really is Superman. I'm pulling for him. Thanks, Tiffany.